Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is in Myanmar, the Southeast Asian country also known as Burma. It's the first visit by a State Department head in 50 years, and it comes after signs of change in the country. In recent months, Myanmar's leaders have released some political prisoners, defied China, a longtime backer and supporter, over a dam project, and put in place election reform that has allowed opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi to re-enter the political process. But substantial reforms remain. One of those is the regime's long-running mistreatment of the country's ethnic groups. The Rohingyas are a Muslim minority group living in the Arakan state in western Burma. For a perspective on this, we're joined by Maung Tun Kin, a Rohingya human rights activist and president of the Burmese Rohingya organization UK. He joins us from London. Maung Tun Kin, Clinton's visit comes as the U.S. has noted these tentative changes from the regime. From your perspective, has there been real progress so far? Well... As you are aware, since July, the president or president thinks a new government, Burma, has taken some welcome steps, which may create the condition of positive change in the country. But we believe such a step need to be encouraged and embark on more meaningful, significant, substantial, and long-lasting change. But for the Rohingyas, the uh, the things in regime is especially uh, we deeply concern about the continuing grave violations of human rights perpetrated by the eth- Burmese army in ethnic areas, Kashin State. And the Rohingya people are facing more wars uh, after these things in regime came to the uh, power. And that's President Thien Sien of uh, Myanmar you're referring to, right? Yes. Well, I want to ask about what you see as substantial changes moving forward. But, but first, let's, let's take a look more carefully at the discri- discrimination you describe. The Rohingya people are currently denied ID cards by the government. How does that affect daily life for Rohingya people inside Burma? Well, Rohingya people, uh, as they are not recognized Rohingya people as a citizenship, they cannot move from one place to another. They cannot get a job. They cannot go to civil work. Uh, I mean, they cannot go to the uh, higher education. For the Rohingyas, they, if they want to get married, they need to apply. They need to make an application to get uh, permission to get married. So as these restrictions of freedom of movement, rest- more marriage, education, confiscation of lands, rape in Rohingya, women are going on. Because we did not get a citizenship right, so Rohingyas are facing more poverty. There have also been concerns over gas and oil pipelines in the Arakan state and forced labor of the Rohingya people by Myanmar's rulers. One motivation of the current reforms from the regime could be an effort to bring more economic growth and development to the country, which is currently still under U.S. sanctions. So these conflicts could continue as the government uh, continues this development plan. Talk about the issue of forced labor and and land ownership. Still, forced labor is uh, going on... Uh, forced labor, Rohingyas are facing in their daily life the forced labor and Rohingya lands were confiscated by military by the military and they keep control under of uh, military control, Uh, I I mean they keep their lands under of military control and as they have lost their lands, finally they have uh, they have no place to stay. They become refugee and they just cross the border and they become refugee. Finally, they arrive to the Bangladesh. And still, they are facing persecution. Uh, I mean, they are they are a stateless uh, refugee in Bangladesh. And during last week, there about 140 boat people have been drowned. And those are people who have fled Burma for other countries in the region. Yes. And last week, you know, like uh, 140 boat people have drawn and the Nasaka security even did not allow the villagers to call out the bury the, bo- the dead bodies which are floating in the Naf River. So I would like to highlight that this is the government of Tenzin is responsible for this human tragedy. Well, many Rohingyas are in exile throughout Southeast Asia, especially in Thailand and Bangladesh. What needs to change so that Rohingya people can return? Well, firstly, the 
Spain's in government have to restore citizenship rights and ethnic rights of the Rohingya people and they have to stop persecution on and human rights violation against Rohingya people Rohingya and other people unless if ethnic problem could not be solved there will not be peace and reconciliation in Burma the first priority is uh, Hillary Clinton should put pressure on the regime uh, to come to the dialogue with ethnic nationalities, including Rohingyas. Maung Tun Kin is a Rohingya exile and human rights activist. He joined us from London. Thanks so much for your time. Sure, no problem.